The bee is one of nature's greatest designs, and the scientists and engineers at Harvard University are closer than ever to replicating it. RoboBee is the artificial mechanical electrical equivalent to the original model. It's no secret that bees are important to society. They are vital not only to the environment, but also to the economy. Declining bee populations indicate that finding an artificial pollination method will be a big concern in the near future. Besides this purpose, Robert Wood, the principal investigator of the RoboBee project, has plans to utilize his tiny robots in search and rescue circumstances. The insect-sized robots have many advantages over humans in dangerous situations. While the project still has a long ways to go, the groundbreaking research and experimentation conducted by RoboBee has resulted in significant innovation in technology and design. Kevin Ma, a mechanical engineer at Harvard working on the project, believes that the technology needed to make RoboBees a reality will be available within the next 15 years. The primary goal of RoboBee is to replenish the losses in bee populations with robotic versions. Bees contribute $170 billion globally each year by pollinating our crops, allowing plants to reproduce and bees to produce honey and wax. Tragically, bees have been dying at alarming rates in the last decade due to insecticides, climate change, and colony collapse disorder. Many scientists are trying to discover how to prevent bee populations from declining, but others are turning to Plan B. A group of researchers at Harvard are developing RoboBees, small robotic insects which will one day be capable of pollinating just like a living bee. Currently, the engineers at RoboBee are trying to overcome the problems caused by the robot's weight restrictions. Particularly, they need to learn how to move the power supply and microchip on board the RoboBee so that it can operate autonomously. When fully developed, the RoboBees will fly from plant to plant, spreading pollen just like an actual bee. The large quantities of these robots will allow them to substitute entire hives worth of bees. Pollination isn't RoboBee's only purpose. The bees developers believe that the small robot will also prove useful in emergency situations. In search and rescue scenarios, its small size allows it to go where rescuers cannot, and it can easily fly to heights that would be difficult for humans to reach. Using the RoboBees in disasters also reduces the risk to rescuers, as the robots can survey the scene before any humans enter. Large quantities of robots allow them to cover more area more quickly and without disrupting debris that could potentially harm victims. Of course, these uses will require additional development to the design. Modifications would include mounting sensors to the bees, making them able to detect humans in need of rescue. The development of the RoboBee has allowed for great innovation. Building a sophisticated, autonomous machine the size of a penny presents many challenges, many of which require creating brand new solutions. For example, motors are not an option at this scale, and so the robot's wings are moved using ceramic components called piezoelectric actuators. These pieces move when subjected to an electric field. An especially innovative technique created during this project is the assembly. The engineers at Harvard were inspired by children's pop-up books and adopted this idea to develop an extremely simple assembly process. The end goal is to produce the RoboBees in large numbers, so a quick and efficient manufacturing method is very important. These innovations have extended past the project itself and impacted the scientific community as a whole. The RoboBee is a great feat of mechanical and electrical engineering. This technology has the potential to solve the pollination problem, save human lives, and advance the field of robotics to the next level.